Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with Asuka Pershing. Um, and this time by the looks of it is a fifth most popular um, premium medium tank. Which actually surprised me to be fair with you. It surprised me quite a bit. Look at this response skill. Uh, plenty of baboons in this game. I can tell you that fellas. Okay, so. What do we want to do? <coughs> I, I am shocked by amount of baboons. Anyways, what do I want to do? I want to take my time to go on top of the hill. I think this is the right way to do the things. Meanwhile, Škoda is shooting in the air and uh, he is having an absolutely blast. Uh, okay, so. What is the goal for us in this game? We can see a lot of a lot of enemies are playing around this area, but I think hill is the proper way for us to play this game. Now, what is the Suka Pershing and what this vehicle is uh, um, is all about? In my humble opinion, this tank is one of the most beginner-friendly vehicles to play the game. Yeah, it's relatively slow as a tank, fellas, but it doesn't change the fact the tank is quite good. The armor of the Suka Pershing is very, very good, uh, or decent, I suppose to say. You do not need to side scrap. You can peek frontally because of the um, of the shapes of this tank. In the same time, speaking about the gun, 240 alpha damage. 202 millimeters of penetration close to 1000 shell velocity uh, and with a gold you have more penetration aka 258 and you have even faster shell velocity which is always nice and always a a welcome if you would ask me so what we will do in this game since we took the hill already we are going to start making pressure for them especially Especially for uh, this T29 and for this Pershing. I'm not going to stop for a second. I am going to make pressure in front and I will show the dominance towers the enemy forces who are playing over there. And believe me, this is going to work pretty good for us. Speaking about how good it's going to work, we just track the T29. Um, and we are going to make sure to claim his life like there is no tomorrow. One more thing to say. This time he have preferential matchmaking and what they that basically means that basically means you cannot meet the um, higher tier than tier 9 and this is absolutely amazing thing if you would ask me uh, Usually preferential matchmaking tanks are not that great compared to the other um, tanks, right? For example, Škoda T-56, obviously this tank has no match for that vehicle, but what this tank has a match for is... Um, Obviously bullying lower tiers. This is the whole point of this vehicle and this is what you want to do with this tank overall. You want to get into matchmaking against the lower tier tanks and you want to show you are the boss there pretty much. This is, uh, this is the thing. Anyways, what do we want to do? We want to go back for a base defense and I am very very well aware of that we are losing this game by 4000 hit points but it doesn't really change absolutely anything. Sometimes you just simply cannot win um, and you need to accept this. Speaking about accepting the thing, since object has quite a bit of armor I think I am going to start loading APCRs and it depends on um, us winning the game pretty much, right? So I want to spend every single time whenever I have a chance to punish enemy forces for one or another mistake. This is super important thing to say. It truly is. I have a feeling, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the tiger is going to enter the cap anytime now. And whenever they will start capping the base, obviously it is not going to be that great for us. So what I need to do, I need to support our gentlemen sitting over there. There is uh, Wild Love, uh, there is ML2 and you know for them... Uh, I am going to load some APCR ammunition. Maybe it is not necessary, but I think it will uh, make um, it will increase our chances in order to win this game, and that's very very important thing to say. Speaking about important things to say, let's try to focus this ML for obvious reasons, right? And hopefully we can spank him like there is no tomorrow. I want to let him on fire. That's why I'm shooting to um, to his side, if I can say so. Meanwhile, Love is being very very brave and you know what i need some support from the guys up this is okay this is okay fellas we are still feeling relatively well with all of this love just managed to spank us for a second time i think we should be relatively fine fellas i honestly do not feel like we are sitting that badly over there 
Good. Can we spank this Lover once again? Sure thing we can. Very, very nice. Emil is trying to flank us, but I do not really care about this Emil too much. I missed very important shot on Mr. Love. Shame on me. Oh well. What can I do, fellas? Cry every time. Beautiful. Our Skoda is making this... Sure, this guy is down to one shotable. Very, very nice. Love is dead. Now we are going to eliminate the Shko, uh, the Emil just like so. He is dead and we have a shitter on our side. Interesting. Interesting, fellas. Okay, we need to figure out how we are going to decap the base at this point. That's what we need to do. Shitter will try to peek like this once again. I can promise you that. I am reading you like a book mother tracker. And now we have a situation when we are um, getting closer to decap the base. Right? We need to figure out how to do this though. We need to figure out how we can decap the base. Scorpion and Tiger. Scorpion and Tiger. Very, very interesting. I am close, fellas, but the question is, am I close enough to deal with them? Uh-huh, Scorpion is sitting over there. Beautiful shot. He just missed it. That's nice. Can we eliminate him from the game? Yes, we can. And now we are fighting against the Mr. Tiger. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We cannot side scrap against him, that's a fact, so I am trying to approach him just like so. I am trying to approach him just like so. Beautiful shot. Tiger is shooting APCR, so I need to keep this in mind. Mm -hmm, bad shot by me. Okay, we have, we have all time in the world of tanks, fellas. We have all time in the world of tanks. Let's try to spank him just like so. If he will make a decision to be in uh, to go in front, we are going to kill him. Luckily for us, that was not the case and we should be able to eliminate him from the game. And who wore it? Who wore it? Who does for a Skoda? Skoda, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful baboon creature, you saved me. If not the Skoda going around and flanking that Emil and flanking that Love, I would be a dead meat. So, kudos for this gentleman, honestly. Who? That's a game. That's how we are starting our session, fellas. Who? Excitement. Skill, calm down. I'm calm, relax, take it easy, I am calm. Look at this beauty. Ace, uh, quite a bit of experience, quite a bit of the credits. Top Gun, Steel Wall, Spartan, High Caliber, Defender, 1.7 base experience, and let's talk credits. We made 76,000 credits. Uh, because I was shooting quite a bit of the gold ammunition against that Love especially, but you know what? That was worth it. Suka perishing in action. And I haven't done anything super extraordinary over there, to be fair with you. And we managed to win this game. Super duper hyper turbo nice. Um, who who are you, mother trucker? Ooh, anti Christo, you saved my ass. You saved my ass. Love you with all my heart. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, let's continue our journey, fellas. Enough, enough. Let's calm down, and let's go for round number two, shall we? Okay. Round number two, what do we have? We have a Pearl River, we have a very nice matchmaking for ourselves. This is where this tank shines in a way, because, you know, pref matchmaking tanks wants to see matchmaking like this. It just... It just how it goes, you know? You want to bully lower tier tanks. Um, and you know what? This tank can do the things definitely properly. And once again, the previous game was uh, close to the worst situation for us we could ever be just because um, the matchmaking was against the tier 9s, right? In this kind of situation, we are playing against the tier 6s. So you know what? I have a feeling this is going to be pretty good for us. Obviously, we are going to make a hardcore pressure over there. We are not going to stop for a second. We are going to go in. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Please forgive me. Let's go in front. 
The worst part of all this, there is a Shrek on the corner. That Shrek is pretty much the most dangerous tank in this situation. And we need to respect the Shrek, fellas. We need to respect the Shrek. Shrek has extremely great DPM and he has uh, abilities to penetrate us without bigger problems. But you know what I have and what he doesn't? I have balls. I have balls, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what we are going to use in this game. We are not going to use too much brain. We are not going to, um, to be passive. We are going to bully enemies because we are playing with a Suka Pershing. And Suka Pershing is perfect for going in front. Uh, obviously, angling the armor. Uh, not side scrapping, I repeat. Definitely not side scrapping, but, but angling armor properly and just spanking everyone left, right, and center. This is what this tank is uh, powerful for and that this is what this tank can do. Meanwhile, speaking about the Shrek, we managed to bounce the Shrek, which is quite a sad thing. But unfortunately, we cannot do absolutely anything about this and I am thinking about going for a blind shot. We are still feeling completely fine, fellas. Believe me, there is nothing to uh, be afraid of or there is nothing to uh, cry about yet. We are doing a great job and we are going to make sure enemies will regret their life choices. Speaking about regretting their life choices, we are going to find the strength in ourselves to make a bit of pressure like this and to bounce all this sweet damage. Because once again, enemies cannot do anything for us frontally. Until we are getting flanked, we are feeling very, very well. And that's why I am saying this tank is extremely friendly for beginner. It is extremely friendly for beginner, fellas. In this time, we can still dance with our friend. As you can see, Škoda is definitely a baboon. So we can dance with him. And while we are dancing with him, we can farm enemies like there is no tomorrow. This is what I am talking about, multitasking, fellas. This is what I am talking about, beautiful. Okay, super uh, standard Hellcat is actually annoying SF. I have a feeling this mother trucker is sitting over there. At least that's what I want to believe and that's what I am trying to hunt for at this point. Um, maybe he is sitting right there. I am not entirely sure. We will see. Time will show absolutely everything. Unfortunately, missing every single shot here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. How we can approach the enemies in this kind of situation? Our performance is already extremely good. There is nothing to add. There is nothing to take. You can say whatever you want, but we are playing uh, um, this pretty damn well. Considering once again, we went in front, we used our strength, Aka, our armor, and we banged enemies like there is no tomorrow. That was the right way to play and that was the right way to do the things. Meanwhile, we are going to go for this star one and we are going to say no how are you doing kaboom he's penetrating us not exactly what i was looking for but that's what we have he's aiming for our weak spots but we are trying to make his life miserable we are trying to um, make as angle as hard as possible for him to penetrate and look at this performance fellas we went in front we banged them all and we showed the dominance with this vehicle i'm telling you this tank is absolutely amazing and especially for beginner in world of tanks uh, this tank is just perfect tank for beginner plus on top of that with turbo this tank is not bad with turbo it's not like it is a slow mother trucker where you can be a little to get into the game whenever you are using turbo on this thing it is flying like crazy mother trucker fellas it truly does so here we go, that's what we have for our second battle. I am super proud of this result and I think this is extremely, extremely, extremely um, strong session overall. In fact, I think the session is that strong we are going to call it a day because we showed absolutely everything. Uh, we uh, showed baboons are strong together, right? Uh, Aka, we won the game on the Himmelsdorf with a, uh, while being the bottom tier. Uh, or not so bottom tier, but overall while well, fighting against the higher tiers, I suppose to say, right? Which is bad for this vehicle. And speaking about this game, we are showing the dominance against the enemies as well, while uh, showing a bit of a gentle touch for the end of this battle. Nice. 
call me dirty but i would say that was absolutely amazing and phenomenal session speaking about this tank now one more thing which I really want to say fellas, this vehicle is rated as a good tank in the index page. Um if 3 is average, 4 is good, and 5 is epic, beginner friendliness, as you can see, is rated to the maximum. Armor, hold-down performance, gun handling, speed is not so great, but you know, you are using turbo to fix it. Um, flexibility and everything. It is pretty amazing tank and i am testing the equipment setup which i went with in this game aka i went with a turbo rammer and ventilation and it works just fine fellas looking into this performance we have the first class we have the steel wall we have the high caliber we have cool headed we went in front we got 1.4 base experience 4000 damage and we showed dominance and most importantly we made 114,000 credits one more thing to say since the gun and alpha damage of this vehicle is such a low caliber you are paying very very cheaply for ammunition it doesn't cost a lot uh on the other hand if you are playing with a shrek you are playing one uh, you are paying 1000 for pretty much same alpha so keep this in mind anyways after two games fellas our session is 4.7 thousand damage 200 assisting damage 5000 uh, session like nothing with this beautiful vehicle oh i'm excited okay Thank you very much for watching, fellas. I hope you had a great time and I hope you were very, very well entertained. And I am super proud of this result and of this game. And I think, uh, um, and I think we can call it a day with a score like this, right? So, thank you very much for watching. Obviously, big fat support for uh, every single of you who stayed till the end and who was watching the video. Obviously, thank you very much for our lovely patrons, for people who are clicking uh, join button, for people who are using the, obviously, index page and who are surprising us with bananas thank you i appreciate you and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace